about this this morning. If you live in the same town or city as your ex, you're bound to run into them at some point, right? For some of us, the very thought seems traumatizing. So this morning, relationship expert Mike Lindstrom joins us with some survival strategies to make those potential run-ins yeah. at least a little easier. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks if, for having me. Uh, well, of course. If there's one takeaway, because I know we've got some yeah, tips yeah, to yeah. get through, yep. what's the one thing we can take away from all of you this? You know, the one thing that you have to remember is this is somebody that you shared your life with, right? Sure. So you respect the person. I mean, that's one thing. If you show disrespect to the other person, you're kind of disrespecting yourself. That's good So point. I say always being courteous, being cordial and friendly, but just, just create a belief about that person that, hey, it didn't work out. Right. It's not a big deal. It's not their fault. It's not our fault. It just wasn't meant to be. Right. And you move on. I think and you liked them enough at one point to call it, them, exactly. you know. Exactly. It was probably like a week or two ago or three weeks ago, a month ago, you run into this person just a short time after. Now all of a sudden they're this evil person. So come on. We, we know that we, we, we put on a front to make ourselves feel better but if you have a belief that the person was an important part of your life because you know how it is a lot of times exes become your friends later in life yes especially right? now with Facebook and Twitter oh, everyone's isn't that the truth? coming back into your life circle right right all right our first tip you say don't panic yeah no don't, don't panic I always say visualize the moment that's a really big thing. We tell this to people a lot because you don't want to get caught at that party. Right. You don't want to be walking down the street or going to a place that maybe both of you frequented. So I always say visualize it literally. Like what would what would the interaction go like? What would you say? How would you come across that person? Sure. And if you go through your little mental checklist as you visualize it and you say, you know, I'm going to respect them. I'm going to be cordial. I'm going to project confidence. But you've got to visualize that in advance. It takes the fear out of that, Correct. the anxiety. Yep, that's okay. right. Okay. You say be friendly. Yep. Which is important. Yeah. With, especially if you're in a public setting. You don't yeah. want to make yourself look bad if it's something that, uh, you know. Especially if there was somebody new. Right. Well, that, that's a little bit of a game changer, right? Uh -huh. yeah, and also depends on the departure. If there was cheating involved, it was if it was an amicable break breakup, then it's a lot easier to be able to project that confidence and be courteous and friendly. Sure. If obviously uh, there was a, you know, some kind of a violation of the trust in the relationship, it makes it tougher for the other person. So but you don't walk up to that person and say, he cheated on me? No, you I'm probably don't want to do that. Or you I'm probably kidding. don't want to tweet it out and put it yeah, all over your wall. Yeah, it's probably not Facebook. a good idea. Not a good idea. So you say, you know, be friendly, be cordial, even to that other person. Yep. You don't need to be a jerk, which yep. leads us into the next uh, tip, and that means avoiding confrontation. Right. Well, you, you know, one thing that you, you think about when you're when you're confronting the person, you're, you're bringing it back up. You know, you're trying to relive it. Now, it may Which be you can really embarrass yourself. Oh, absolutely, like that. and that's the one thing you want to you want to have your your sense of pride. Sure. You know what I mean? You want to be able to walk away from this, saying, "Hey, look, I got my dignity and my pride." The last thing you want to do is create this kind of public spectacle yeah. or some kind of a you know confrontation that's going to make you look bad. If you remember, your own identity is at stake as well, not just the relationship sure. itself and how you treat each other, but your own identity. And that's an important thing well, to remember. Well, and it goes back to that self-respect thing right. that you talked about. Yep. And finally, project confidence. Yeah, that's a big thing. If you if you even if you don't have it, yeah. You've got to fake project. it till you yeah, make it. it, till you My make mom it. and dad have always said that. Fake it till you make it, that's girl. That's right. There's a couple there's one other tip in here that I've heard a few times in some of our live events with with Ask Anna Mike is that uh, you, you, you do become friends with some of your exes. And sure. they, they're kind of the rule is, like they used to say in The Godfather, you keep your friends closer and your enemies even closer. <laughs> yeah. So it's not a bad thing to keep your exes close to you in your life. You know, they, there's a belief out there that a lot of people do that. And uh, I was actually talking to Scott and some of the folks here before the episode. You know, and, and some of us, I know I'm uh, really close friends with a lot of my ex-girlfriends. Sure. And you know, I think that happens over time. Once you have that healing process, both people are able to move on, yep. have families, have kids, grow up, you mature. You can kind of reunite and become friends. So. Absolutely. And you're lucky when that happens, especially yep. when your spouse is okay with Absolutely. it. All Absolutely. All right. Mike Lindstrom, always a pleasure to have oh, you. Thank we you appreciate so much. it. Have fun. And he mentioned uh, one, one of these meet and greets that you guys have. We'll have that on our hotline as well with contact information. Right. We appreciate your thank time. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, Brittany. Does this. Oh.